Hello. Welcome to our kitchen. Uh-oh, you see the fly. Kill this fly for me. My name is Andrew. You might recognize me from the show Worth It, where I'm usually tasting foods at different price points with my pals, Steven and Adam. I'm gonna be recreating one of my favorite dishes I ever had on Worth It, chocolate salami. In our lasagna episode, we ate at Yes. So in our lasagna episode, we ate at Pasta Sisters and after eating their amazing lasagna, my worth it winner, they shared their chocolate salami with us, which turns out to be a simple dessert of chocolate formed around broken up bits of cookies that ends up resembling a salami. I think making this recipe will help me explore something that I'm really interested in, which is the fundamentals of why something tastes good. Holy sh with chocolate salami, I think it's an amazing example of deliciousness in simplicity. It's just a couple of ingredients, but when combined, they transform into something exciting and intriguing and so much more than the sum of its parts. So to learn a little bit more about this recipe, I'm going to be speaking with Francesco and Georgia to see how the salami's made, I guess. Hey guys, how are you? Good. Great. Since the last time you came to visit us, we also opened Pasta Sister food truck. We are bringing around town our pasta and we share also the chocolate salami on the truck. It's such an interesting dessert. I'd never heard of this chocolate salami before. It's mostly a family tradition. It's mostly done by grandmas and moms. I think it was invented in a way that you had a bunch of stuff at home to just put it together and uh, every family has a different recipe for this reason. My grandmother was like just straightforward cookies, eggs and chocolate and sugar. Sorry, my, my mom just is actually <laughs> giving me my grandma book. It's this one, the recipe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So ah, the cookies ah. are crumbled inside, and when you cut it in slices, the cookies recreate the fat of the salami. It seems like it's a dessert that you can just keep in the freezer, and whenever you are hungry, you just go, you cut a slice, and you eat it. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe with me. It was really fun talking to you guys. It was a pleasure to see you again. Okay, I've picked up the ingredients. Based on the Pasta Sisters recommendation, I'm going to use McVitie's Digestive Wheat Biscuits and Leibniz Butter Biscuits. I've always wanted to know why these are called digestives. Do they truly help with digestion? Mmm. Oh, it's graham cracker. It smells the same as graham cracker. Or maybe it's that graham cracker smells like these. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like them because they're very boring tasting, but I can also see why your first instinct would be to add some chocolate to this. And now our German butter cookies, butter cakes. They're nice, yeah. So the first task is to take some of these biscuits and break them up. I guess I just smack them, right? How hard do you beat a, a biscuit? Also, I'm gonna be calling these biscuits. Even though I'm more used to saying cookie, I'm gonna be calling them biscuits because that's what they call themselves. I feel like I'm creating a lot of fine biscuit sand here, um, but still some of my pieces are, are, are a little bit too big. I'm trying to picture this inside of the chocolate salami. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I feel like in the Pasta Sisters version, you get a clear outline of a biscuit. I don't wanna to go too far. There's something about these biscuits that's like, it's not too tasty. It's interesting. Not too tasty is the right amount of tasty. Something to think about. Okay. Next up, I'm going to prep the chocolate. I feel like when you're doing this type of recipe where it's just chocolate and biscuits, you wanna get a good chocolate. It looks like frickin' gold. God damn it, <laughs> chocolate is so good. Chocolate's one of those foods where you taste it and you're like, yeah, I don't need anything more than that. So I'm basically shaving this down into little shards. I don't know if this sounds silly, but when chocolate is really good, you kind of get the sense that it comes from a plant. Well, I could shave chocolate all day. 
Okay, now that there is chocolate approximately everywhere, we can move on to the next step. So this wasn't a requirement, but they happened to have Italian butter in the grocery store. And I thought, how fun. Oh yeah, look at that. That's delicious. Okay, 100 grams of butter. I'm going to melt this very quickly. Two egg yolks. I love separating egg yolks. It's like the most tenderest form of surgery you could do. 100 grams of sugar. Whisk this together. Melted butter. I'm also going to add Jamaican dark rum. Adding the chocolate now. I don't think I chopped my chocolate fine. I guess I'll just have a more rustic salami. And lastly, this looks terrible. I don't think I did a good job with this. This looks nothing like their photos. This just doesn't look like it has the right consistency. This needs to get in the freezer because it's quickly becoming way too melty. Okay, this salami has been in the freezer overnight. There it is, my freezer salami. Oh, why is mine so bad? I mean, it smells incredible. Immediately, I can tell I did not do nearly as clean of a job as they do at Pasta Sisters. The one that we had was a perfect dark chocolate exterior. You know, the more I look at it, it really does resemble meat. Here we go. I am now so confused how they make it so nicely. I don't understand. Because my mixture is so uneven, as I'm going through it, some different areas look better than others. I'm just gonna go to the direct center of my salami. It's so weird to say my salami, but I guess this is like the easiest recipe that you get to say that. My salami. I made a salami. I really should have prioritized the larger sections of biscuit because they're the sections that most resemble chunks of fat that you see in real meat salami. I mean, yeah, how could it not taste good? It's extremely satisfying. For a coin-sized slice of dessert, it is exploding with flavor. It is so good. I think there are a lot of different levels of dessert. You could have a single Hershey kiss or you could have a slice of wedding cake. Where the chocolate salami lives is my personal favorite. Just a satisfying single morsel. How do I think I did? Not really good. I mean, this is classic mom and grandma type recipe. The ingredient list is short, the technique explanation is short, but to get it good, like, you need the experience in your hands to do it really well. And if you want actually great chocolate salami, as well as some delicious pasta, please visit Pasta Sisters. You know what else it is? It's a reverse chocolate chip cookie.